Hi, Frank Ray from Chesapeake Wills and Trust. Right now we're gonna talk about real estate and probate. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to hit the like button if you like the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when we're pushing more content out that'll help you with your estate planning needs. All right, real estate and probate. It's one of the most common questions that people cold call the office about to try and get information because it's so important and can be so confusing. So let's give some context to this. What we're gonna be talking about is real estate that is just owned in the name of the person who died, the decedent. In other words, it's going to be a probate asset that is titled in the name of the decedent alone at the time of their death. We can divide this into two categories for simplicity. What happens if the decedent owned it outright and what happened if the decedent had a mortgage that we're gonna to have to deal with. So for the purposes of talking about real estate, it almost doesn't matter whether or not you died with or without a will because we're gonna talk about how that fits together at the end. Regardless of whether or not there is a mortgage or there's not a mortgage, if you're the personal representative, remember it's your duty to safeguard and protect the asset. That means you gotta make sure that the asset is protected, that it has the appropriate insurance. If there's a mortgage, that the mortgage is being paid for, that the homeowner's insurance is still being paid, that all of the taxes are up to date. So remember, the equity in the home is an asset of the estate. What that means is even if we know where that home is gonna go because there's a lot of equity in it, might not be a mortgage on it, we have to wait until the end of probate, until we've published everything to make sure there are no creditors that would owe money before we can take care of the real estate. It's just like any other asset, we can see that there's enough there to pay all the creditors, and all the valid claims. What we're gonna do is we're gonna look and see who's gonna get what. If there's a single beneficiary and there's a home, then they have a decision. They could either transfer the home into their name and take the home as their own, or they could sell the home and take the proceeds. It gets a little more complicated if there's more than one beneficiary that's entitled to the home because it may entail them having a conversation and deciding what they wanna do. They could decide for one to buy the other out. They could decide to sell the property and split the proceeds. It's gonna kind of be up to them what to do unless we have a will that tells us otherwise. The will could specifically say that the house is going to be sold. Now, if there's a mortgage, it becomes a little more complicated because it's gonna depend on what the beneficiary or beneficiaries want to do about taking a new mortgage. The, the chances of assuming the existing mortgage is really low these days. It's much more likely that the beneficiary, whoever's gonna take the home, if they wanna keep the home, at the same time the home gets conveyed to them by the personal representative, they're basically going to need to refinance that mortgage. In other words, to get a new mortgage to take care of the part of the home that the estate doesn't own if there's still an interest from a bank or a lender. For more information about this, as well as to get a free copy of our probate guide, make sure to click down below.